The best way to train on grip fighting is to grip fight. Grip fight Rondori. Gripping Rondori. Okay? Now, how we do that is my partner and I will bow in. We'll try to grip fight. I'll try to beat him at the grip. He'll try to beat me at the grip. And we're not attacking each other with a throw or anything. We're trying to beat each other, dominate the grip. Okay? I like a particular kind of grip. He knows it. He's going to try to stop it. You know, or I may want to experiment with a new grip. But it's like Ron Dory only with gripping. That's all we're doing. And we're going to do that to start. And produce several ways of doing that. Now, the standard way is we do it like we're all standing up. As soon as you bow, what do you do? Put your hands up. Hands up. Okay. Do I run, Kyle? No. no. Stand okay. ground. Stand my ground. So bow here. Now, if I have to move, and I want to move, we're going to have to move eventually, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to move one way or the other, laterally, sideways. So I'm going to be here. And am I going to just kind of stand there and just let him grip me when no. I move sideways? No. I'm going to have my hands up because if he tries to grip me, boom, I'm going to get a better grip than him. Now, I usually grip into my power hand. Okay? But if I'm a righty, I'll usually stand to my, not always, I might want to do it on my left. But that's what a lot of guys do, and it works, the reason is because it works, okay? So as soon as we bow, hands up, okay? Now, do I reach this same, same no. side? No. Not here, don't I? So, and we, and we want to make sure, do I want to get the inside grip? Yes. yes. I want to get the inside grip because that way I can control him. Even if I'm grabbing his sleeve here, if he, if he gets the grip inside my sleeve, I don't like it. I'll pop it. I'm going to get a better grip. Okay? I always want to get the inside grip. The best way to train for gripping is not some fancy clinic or doing all these one, two, three moves like this. It's grip rondori. When you want to train for gripping, grip rondori is the best drill you can do. We've done it here at Welcome Mat for years, and it really works. A lot of good clubs do it too, not just us. Okay? So my goal now when we start our grip run, Dory, we're going to do another couple minute rounds, or a minute round, and we'll do, you know, we go on. You don't want to grip too long in grip run, Dory. You don't want to have a four or five minute round of grip run, Dory. One minute's enough. And you want to go really hard, okay? Now, I want to beat him in the grip every time. And I'm going to have in my mind all the time now, is I know what throw I want to use with the grip I'm gripping with. If I'm a Tayotoshi guy, I know that my, I want to get this, and I'm going to set him up. I want to start setting him up for my Tayotoshi. And he says, I know you're a Tayotoshi guy. I'm not going to let you have that. I'll pull away, and I'll try to stop that. Okay, boom. And now we're in a grip fight. That's what we want to do. He has an idea what he wants to do. I have an idea what I want to do. But we're not going to really throw each other in grip round, rounds around Dory. We're just going to be in position. Am I bent over? No. Always lead with my hips, don't I? Mm -hmm. Lead with your belly button or your hips. Button out of your belt. Okay, not, no, don't do it like this, but you want to be upright. Because I want to be able, if he attacks me, I want to be able to cut, boom, cut, and move my hips freely. If I'm all bent over like this, I'm off balance, and he can just throw me and beat me up. Okay, so we're going to do some grip run, 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 door, okay? So, get a partner, and we're going to do some rounds of grip run. So now we're doing grip rondori, which is an essential part of judo and sambo, any, any jacket sport as everybody knows. And uh, we just went from one very specific grip drill and uh, that the, he, Coach Brink wanted him to work on tonight or today, and he's having him do a lot of grip rondori. And basically, the idea of grip rondori is to uh, you know, attack, and it is grip rondori. And then you notice they're not attacking with throws at this point. They're just trying to beat each other with the grip. And coaches out there take note. Ken Brink is always giving instructions, not overdoing it. He's doing it as necessary, but he's keeping them going. He's giving them tips here and there, getting them motivated to keep gripping and get more aggressive in it.
We have them go fairly short rounds of grip round where we don't want them to go more than a minute or so simply because we don't want them to get just so focused into just gripping. We want them to eventually grip and attack. That's the point of it, but he's, uh, he's having him break down from getting him set up okay. Um, but the idea is to uh, be a very aggressive in your gripping and set him up. But the, uh, so that's why the grip rounds or rondori rounds are short because they're short, explosive uh, rounds of fighting for the dominance of the grip. And if you do grip fighting right, if you do grip rondori right, it can get very, very uh, uh, aggressive as it should be. And that's what Ken Brink here is having his kids do. And this is a pretty much a typical training session for our kids program here at Welcome Man. In fact, it is a typical training session on a Saturday morning. So you have an idea of uh, grip rondori, the importance of grip training in uh, any jacket wrestling sport, and certainly the sport of judo. Thank you. 